vanishing a toothpick. It's a trick you can nail every time. Up next, the secret to the classic cut and restored rope. And find out where a beautiful girl really goes when she disappears without a trace. And later, a Bentley turns into a Lamborghini. And the WWE Divas make a surprise appearance. Plus, the magician shows you how to walk through a great wall of steel. When magic's biggest secrets finally revealed, returns. Here the magician has one of magic's most popular impromptu tricks. All he needs to baffle his audience this time is a length of rope, which he proves to be strong and unprepared, and some scissors. They'll make their appearance in a minute. He gathers the rope to find the exact center, then makes a loop and holds it in his hand. Time for the scissors. Told you they were part of this trick. Using the scissors, the magician cuts through the center of the rope. Eventually, there's no camera trick involved. That's definitely a cut piece of rope. He twists the cut ends, gives them a wave, and magically the rope is back in one piece. The tricky mass man has done it again. So how did the magician cut the rope in two right before our eyes? and then restore it to one solid piece? The simple answer is, he didn't really cut the rope at all. Here are the secrets. Concealed in the magician's hand at the start of the trick is a small piece of identical rope gathered into a loop. This is the rope that gets cut by the scissors. The magician is careful never to let this piece of rope be seen by the audience. When he places the long rope in his hand, he pulls the short loop up and above his fingertips. From this angle, you can see him pull his sleight of hand. The long rope is held by his thumb, while the short loop is visible above the top of his hand. He takes the scissors and cuts straight through the short loop. When he separates the pieces, it appears the long rope has been sliced in two. Pretty sneaky, if you ask me. All that's left to do is twist the short cut pieces out of the way and tuck them into his fist. He carefully conceals them as he slides the long rope through. And no one bothers to look in his closed fist. And that's how he creates the illusion of restoring a rope by magic. And now, the magician will perform another classic illusion. One of the most famous in all of magic. He displays an ornate chair that's perched atop a platform. He walks around the chair to make sure we get a good look at it. The magician then calls in one of his beautiful assistants so we can get a good look at her. This guy's got it made. Ever the gentleman, he helps her step up onto the platform where she takes her position in the chair just like a beauty queen on her throne. Two more assistants enter with a large sheet. I think we've seen enough of the magician to know that something magical happens when he gets his girls under the sheets. The assistants raise the sheet for a moment. There's the girl still in the chair. He can't resist seeing her one last time. I don't blame him. The sheet goes back up, and the assistants cover the girl. There she is, still in the chair. A magical wave, some lightning, and she's gone. Vanished in an instant, leaving behind the lone masked man and his fancy chair. Maybe he should sit down and rethink this trick.
So how does our masked magician make his lovely lady disappear? Don't worry, she doesn't go far. Here are the secrets. As always, the magic moments happen beneath the sheets. And a lot of things are going on simultaneously. First, there's a hidden breakaway seat built into the bottom of the chair. When the curtain is raised for the first time, the girl in the chair releases the seat, allowing her to slide her lovely legs into a trap door hidden in the platform. From above, we see how she releases the seat and steps into the trap. When the assistants lower the sheet, it appears as though the girl is still sitting in the chair. The next time the curtain is raised, it covers the chair completely, but that's not the girl. Notice the black section in the center of the chair? It conceals the next secret. This black headpiece. When flipped in this position, it takes the place of the girl's head. As the assistants lift the sheet, the magician secretly flips up the false head as the girl slips down into the platform and disappears from view. Here it is from above. The head form drops into place and is covered by the sheet. To the audience, it looks like the girl is still seated in the chair. She seems to vanish, but where did she go? The staircase looks too thin for the girl to fit inside, but upon closer inspection, we see the staircase is actually thicker than it first appears. The girl disappears into the platform, and from the back, we can see that it is actually hollow, allowing plenty of room for the girl to hide. With her legs in one side, the girl is able to arch her back and squeeze into the other half. She reaches up and raises the seat bottom back into position. And now our assistant is completely concealed within the platform. When the magician pulls back the sheet, the motion causes the false head piece to drop back behind the center of the chair where it started, and the girl is gone, leaving the magician plenty of time to think about what he's done. Next, the secrets of turning one luxury car into another with the help of two WWE divas and making an ordinary dime penetrate a solid sheet of rubber. And coming up, a great wall of steel is no match for the masked magician. Find out how he walks through it with ease and how he makes an orchestra disappear. When magic's biggest secrets finally revealed returns. The magician will now attempt a classic bit of close-up magic using a shot glass, a dime, and a small sheet of rubber. The dime is balanced on top of the rubber sheet, and the magician is stretching the ends of it over the shot glass. He points to the dime, which in masked magician terms means, watch this, a magical wave, and he begins to gently rub the dime with his finger until it's gone, but where? He lifts the piece of rubber, and there it is, in the bottom of the shot glass. A genuine dime that can magically pass through solid rubber. So how did the masked magician make the dime penetrate the rubber sheet? It looks impossible, but there's a secret. The piece of rubber is a special high-tension polymer, the kind used by dentists that's made to stretch a long way without breaking. It can be pulled so tightly around the dime that it becomes see-through and gives the illusion that the dime is resting on top of it. In fact, the dime is really on the opposite side. This side with the dime is the one that goes over the glass. When the magician stretches the sheet around the glass, the coin appears to be sitting on top of the rubber. Actually, it's merely stuck to the bottom side. He taps the coin with his finger, and you can see that the tapping releases it from the rubber sheet and sends it into the glass. A simple trick when you know the secret. We know that world-famous magicians have used their tricks to impress supermodels and beautiful Hollywood starlets the same way some guys use flashy cars to impress women who are out of their league. Tonight, 
the masked magician will use both. Here he shows off a late model Bentley, 